Right then everyone, here we are and here is Murphy, the Highland Bull. Uh, now you might be thinking it's a little bit late on in the year but uh, we've got a couple of shows to go to and uh, Murphy here is going to be going to one of them, isn't he Ruth? He is, he's going to Embley to start off with. He may be going to more uh, but we'll watch this space. He's definitely going to Embley so we're just trying to uh, get him bottom out, get all the straw out of his uh, hair, get him cleaned up. Uh, and uh, yeah, making him look his best. Yeah, so um, Emily is one of our local shows. Peniston is the other. We don't quite know who's exactly going to Peniston yet. It's the last agricultural show of the year, so that's in September. So we'll uh, we'll figure that one out a little bit close to the time. But for now, we do know that Murphy here is hopefully going to put in a fairly um, good performance at Emily Show. I think everyone's in agreement. He's a fairly hard bull to beat. He's a he's a good looking solid well-built highland bull uh, and on top of that he's fairly well behaved isn't he Ruth? He is very well behaved to be fair. Um, he's just had a close pipe in his face and he's, he's like yeah whatever. Yeah. Carry on. Very chilled, very relaxed. And he, does, he, and does like, he does appear to like it so it's the first time we've fully washed him and he does appear to really like and enjoy being washed which is uh, helpful for me. Yeah, makes a bit of a change. Not that Ted doesn't like it, but it's not his... It's not his favourite. It's not his favourite thing, no, is it? <laughs> so, yes, folks, we are 100% preparing for um, the end of the show season, and Murphy is going to be partaking, so we're excited. We always have the option of taking more animals to our local shows. Obviously, we do go to the Great Yorkshire, um, and sometimes elsewhere but it's always much easier logistically <laughs> to get the animals to our local shows than it is um, to get them far away so lots of preparation um, it's not till it's not for a little while yet this show but it's good to get them halfway there and then you've got a little bit less work to do when the time comes um, so has he had a full shampoo then Ruth? He's had a full shampoo washed down rinse off so we start, started off by getting rid of some of the mats and I'll show you that is one of the mats uh, that was on his back legs. Uh, so we've got rid of that and I must say he was an actual gentleman while I was taking that off because pulling them off his legs had not have been the, the nicest thing. Um, so as gentle as I can and he never kicked out at me once. So again, very well mannered. Uh, then he got absolutely drowned because I put the horse pipe on him, uh, the jet on him, and just to get rid of some of this straw. There's a lot of dead hair in here. So there you go, look. Um, so yeah, we're, we're getting there. Then he's had a shampoo, he's had a rinse and he'll get another rinse um, and then I'll finish, up, finish on his face. He's still got a lot of rubbish in his, in his head. But he'll scratch this bit on everything, so everything will go in here and it'll be quite deep and it's obviously really, really thick. Um, and like I said, he does sit, tend to enjoy this, so he's actually turning into my comb, turning into uh, into the horse pipe but not always where I want to be so he wants his, a certain bit scratching uh, well as I want, might want to do down here but he wants his head scratching so it's a bit of a give and take at the minute so folks thanks very much for watching a quick update on Murphy the Highland Bull and, uh, and having a little bit of TLC from Ruth today. So he's looking grand. He'll look even better once he's dried off. And then it'll all be do to do again closer to the time. But hopefully not quite as much of a deep clean will be needed. So thanks for watching, folks. We'll see you later. See you later. That's Tara for now.